Ooh. Oh, hey, you just caught me running another vault. <laughs> Got the boss again, though the vault wasn't quite so great. But let me sort out some loot, and I'll get right back to you. Well, there we go. This is a little more comfortable. How's everybody doing? Welcome back to another episode of Vault Hunters. With me, I'm Ozone B. Since the last episode, I have been really busy. Look at those levels. I'm coming up on 50 pretty darn quick. Now, why have I been so busy, you might ask? Well, it's these gems right here. Knowledge stars. In the episode after getting Danks, I asked you all for some advice on what other mods I should be unlocking, and I needed Knowledge Stars, of course, to do that. And that takes a lot of vault runs. And since that episode on Danks, I have run 19 more vaults, which is a pretty darn good amount. Also, I can get these Knowledge Stars. Five of them, as a matter of fact. Huh, it's been quite a grind, quite honestly, but getting some new mods unlocked will certainly help. Don't you think? But before we get to that, I've got some important business to take care of. Remember in the last episode, I said my next Omega statue would get named after somebody that left a comment, and we are ready for that already. I've been keeping all my dead statues over here, waiting for this moment, and now we can finally get another Omega statue, which is right here. I jumped in my inventory so fast, I didn't even notice, but let's go see who it is. I gotta do this outside because, well, my little house isn't big enough for these giant statues. Now this time, I gotta make sure I'm not gonna screw it up. So, okay, there we go. We got limestone, netherrack, netherrack, and ice and smooth sandstone. I think ice is maybe the best choice here. Although, the, I think maybe the game's trying to tell me something with the double netherrack choice. Now, ice is just really slow, and especially when you need, like, blue ice or packed ice, I think that's the choice for right now. And who did we get? I think, is that Mookie? Mookie Tanu? Nope, Moni. We got Moni. All right. Now, remember, one person to leave a comment below will get this statue named after them. And there we go, right next to Swarmy. Hopefully, before too long, this whole row can get filled up with statues. That would be cool. Now I wonder how far I can get with all these saved statues that I have. Wow, 54% already. Not bad at all. But back to the issue at hand, which is these five knowledge stars currently in my hand. I really wanted to get six, but I've got a plan, and I'm not at all certain that it's the right plan. <laughs> but might as well get these used up. A one, a two, a three, a four, a five. There we go. Five knowledge points. Now, the big question is, what am I going to use them on? So first up, looking at my current situation here, I have taken Danks and four of the decoration mods. And that gives everything else a pretty healthy discount. But... As I've been studying this, and I have been studying it quite a bit, I've noticed that if I were to take something else in this utilities section, say Vault Blacksmith, all of the other sections don't get modified in any way. Meaning that this would essentially be free in terms of the modifiers on everything else, which is really appealing. I kind of wasn't planning to take Vault Blacksmith for, well, quite a while. I feel like I have to now, since it only costs one, and it's essentially free in terms of all of the other modifiers out here. Now at this point in the utilities, if I were to take something else, everything would be back up by one point again. And that's because many of these modifiers are actually a 0.5 modifier. But for right now, I feel like I need to take power. And yes, that's power, not power. <laughs> um, because it is rather low right now and pretty much all of the big things are going to take some kind of power generation. When it comes to storage, I really want drawers actually. But drawers don't need any power. But if I take drawers, it causes power to become more expensive over here with this plus one. So I feel like I need to take power first and then come over and take drawers or refined storage. I really want both of them. But I only have five points to do it in. But I had to take Vault Blacksmith first because after taking these others, Vault Blacksmith would be more expensive. 
So that's my conundrum. <laughs> that's the dilemma. I still don't think that changes the plan, however. I need to get some power generation before it costs too much. So since I've got to spend three already, I might as well spend these other two in decorations, driving everything down just a little bit more. Boom and boom. And now I can take power for one. Boom. But now over to storage. I really waffled between applied energistics and refined storage. The description says that they're basically identical and applied energistics is a bit more complex and has less limitations end game. But after doing some queries on Reddit, I did not like these limitations. And so I think refined storage is the better way to go. Now the sad part is pretty much everybody does refined storage and I kind of want to do something different just to be different. But my analytical mindset and my drive for optimal play style just won't let me. So I'm going to take refined storage and hopefully, maybe, I can also take drawers this time. Now that's a lot of researching done, a lot of mods unlocked. But here we go, the last one spent on refined storage. Now refined storage is basically like storing your items as files on hard drives. It allows you to store a lot of things in a small space. And a wide variety of things is the important part. Storing 10,000 items that are all different takes about the same amount of storage as storing 10,000 items that are all the same. Drawers are much, much better at storing 10,000 items that are all the same. And so you really want to have a hybrid of these two systems. But that'll have to wait for another day. <laughs> I'm just digging around in my chest trying to build something here, and I found some more star essence <laughs> but that I didn't know I had. And that means that I should now be able to make another knowledge star with all of this material <laughs> so i can i can actually get that last knowledge star that i'm after today all right no, knowledge star number six in the books and now now i can also take drawers and get the storage system that i really wanted now power generation choices come in just a few different varieties. You have the Fernerator, which burns anything that a furnace will burn. The Magmator, which consumes lava. The Thermo Generator, which consumes water as a coolant. The Solar Panel, which doesn't consume anything. And the Reactor, which is very big and out of the question right now. I don't really like the idea of anything that needs supplying on a regular basis because I'm forgetful and lazy. So I think I'm going to try for the solar panels. Now, all of these come in a variety of levels from starter, basic, etc., and each generating a little bit more power. So I'm going to start off with a few solar panels and let's see how far we can get. Okay, this is uh, so far we got two solar panels and some electric cables and that uses up a pretty good amount of Laramar and Beniatite. But I've also got all of these leftover pieces. I was actually going to do three panels but I think that might be overkill at this point, so I'm just going to go with two and we'll see where we go. Now it's time to start on the refined storage. Now refined storage starts with the controller. It's the glue that holds everything together. It doesn't really do anything by itself. It's just required for everything else to work. The storage is actually done on these storage parts. We've got uh, different sizes, 1, 4, 16, etc. And these are the basic components that are used to make disks that are going to connect directly to the controller in some way. The storage part defines how many things can be stored in your system. So in this instance, this 1K storage part can hold 1,000 individual items. The grid is a terminal that you use to access all of those items in your network. And so you kind of need to have at least these three blocks, the, the controller, a drive, and a grid. So let's first start with the controller. Wow, I did not realize how expensive this controller was, and I don't think there's any way to avoid that. An echo pog. Um, I can do it, I think. But wow, that that is expensive. On second thought, maybe I can't. I, I am not sure. Now, this is the moment of truth. This is the part where it's either going to make or break this entire project is breaking down these ores. I've only found two of these echo ores in all of my time here, so let's hope I get something good. I need, I need six out of these two. Honestly, I think I'm dead in the water here. I don't think my chances are very good, but let's go. Ooh, maybe 10. 
All right. Well, I think maybe we can actually do this then. Okay. Echo Pog, we've, we made it. Uh, and with a little bit of echo to spare, and we did. We got everything together to get the controller. Whew, I wasn't sure we'd make it. And after a lot of miscellaneous parts production, I can finally make the grid. So an interesting thing that I'm seeing about refined storage is that if you want to have a disk drive, you need to have a POG. And I do have some POGs, so that's not totally out of the question. But if we look at another way of doing it, we have these storage blocks, which also use a 1K storage part and a machine casing. So basically, a disk drive holds multiple disks of any capacity, or you could essentially build the disk into one of these blocks. But the net result is that these storage blocks just simply take up blocks of space in your world and don't require a POG. So I'm gonna to try to build some of these storage blocks instead of going with the disk drive and save my POG for now. I may find that this doesn't work out really well, but that's what it seems like based on the, all these ingredients. So I'll give it a shot. Okay, there we go. Now a 4K storage block. I think these are all of the things that we need now in order to actually run a storage system and the cables and the uh, solar panels are all we need to actually get enough power for all this. So I think it's time to put stuff up and then try to set this up. So I think I'm going to try to go right here through the wall here to the outside and place my solar panels out there. And the controller then will go right here next to this for right now. At least enough to get it started. I want to put everything here. But I need to place some cables all the way down this tube in order to get to the controller. So there's one solar cell and a two solar cell. I guess I need to actually connect that guy up too. Can I click them and are they working? No, they don't seem to be working and I don't know why. Ah, there we go. Oh, it it, it is working. It is working, it's just extracting out the bottom. And so nothing is building up inside here because it's all extracting out to go into the uh, the controller. So let's go check on the controller. Ooh, it has some lovely power. It lights up pretty. It is very slowly filling up the battery in here. And right now we're not using any energy from the solar cells. And so it's all just being pulled into here. However, once I put the controller, I'm sorry, once I put the grid on, you see we have access to everything. And now we're using two FE per tick. Now those two solar cells will generate 10 FE per tick. That's what that slash T means. Um, so we're still gaining energy and we're running at a net positive. Let's see what happens when I put down this storage disk part. Will that work there? Okay, yeah, it sees it as part of the network, and now we're using six FE per tick. And look at that, it is running and working just fine. So I've got my storage grid here. Let's say I put in some grass blocks and uh, sure, these energy cables in there, why not? Hey, how about a piece of dirt? And it all stores in there. If we look at this, we see that we're using nine out of our 4,000 blocks of storage because there are a total of nine items being held in this grid. We're online with digital storage. Woohoo! Woohoo! <laughs> Cheer! Yeah! <laughs> These emotes are pretty cool, yeah, but then I don't get to use them that much, so humor me on this part. <laughs> now, Iskal did say, don't put vault gear into your refined storage system. That's not going to work. Oh, what's, what's that? <gasps> We're out of power! We're running out of power. Oh no. Does that mean it's night? It's night and the solar cells aren't working. Oh, that is unfortunate. Well, I mean, I, I guess that kind of makes sense. They don't work at night, but oh boy. I know they make batteries and I wonder if we can make up, hook up some batteries and maybe some more solar cells. I just don't like the idea of using the thermo generator and having to keep pumping water into it. But yeah, the output of those solar cells is a little weak. So I think the answer is going to be putting in a battery here as well as generating more solar power to charge the battery. It may still be a little weak though, I'm afraid. We'll just have to wait and see. Now we get to move on to the drawers. 
But the first thing and most important thing about a drawer is the controller. And wow, two pogs that it takes in order to make it work. Fortunately, I can do that. Aside from the pogs, it's not that bad of a recipe. Honestly, you need one of the drawers. Now I went ahead and I crafted up a whole bunch of the one by ones and some of the one by twos and two by twos. This all together used like three stacks of Beniatite and like, I don't know, at least 10 stacks of logs. There we go, a controller. Now I need an interface so that I can interface this system to that. Well, I'm just getting tons of advancements here. Look at all those things. All right, well, now we have a drawer controller and an interface and some cables that we can use to connect this stuff together. So I'm gonna make a little network right here just to make sure that everything's working together and to look at the power demands that we've got going on for adding this drawer controller. So we'll start with the drawer controller there and let's put down a couple drawers next to it. Now the interface I'm gonna put next to that and then let's bring in some cables. I'm going to start by putting some redstone in that one and coal in that one. And now when we go to our interface, we should... Nope. Hmm. Is that not the right thing to, to, to make? Okay, I'm just an idiot after all. I don't need an importer. I need one of those things called an external storage. Should have been obvious, right? Mm-hmm. Should have been. Anyway, it does work now. You can see I've got some redstone and some coal there, and I'm seeing my redstone and coal here. And now it's out. So it does work, but it's making quite a demand on my power. And I've really got to do something now to make more power. Using a total of 12, we're generating 15 in those storage cells out there. But when nighttime comes around, I don't know if that battery is going to be good enough. <sighs> but I can figure out all that a little bit later and off camera. I've also got an awful lot of storage here that needs to be done. So... I'm going to work on actually sorting all of this out into the various drawers. Shouldn't be that hard, so I'll come back when that's done. This this is not as easy as it looks. There's a lot of stuff to keep track of, and deciding do you put it in the smaller one, or the bigger one, or the teeny tiny one, uh, it's a lot of decision making that has to go on. And some of these are at the point where they're at a maximum storage already. So I've got to figure out some upgrades too. Now, fortunately, I've been playing around with it, and if you do like a shift click there, you can see the upgrades that go on, and each one can have seven upgrades. And there's a variety of different kinds of upgrades, but wow, if you fill up all seven of these with a 32 times upgrade, that leads to a lot of storage. But it's really interesting and really neat that you can actually access them and dynamically change them out. It's not something like once you apply a, an upgrade, that it's stuck on there forever. So that's something that I do really enjoy. Now I gotta figure out which upgrades are the most worthwhile to make. Now the end goal is to remove this entire wall of chests and replace it with all of these drawers. Right now they're just all set up here so that I can work on them. Ah, it's a lot to work on. So much work later, here I am with a mostly empty wall of chests and I'm down to the point where it's that stuff that you've been saving forever and you don't really know why, you know what I mean? It's like when you move and you, you finally get to that corner of the basement with all the crap that you moved with the last move and you still haven't gotten to. It's kind of like that. So most of what's left here is junk. I've uncompressed many of the compressed blocks and yeah, I've had to put in some pretty serious upgrades on these drawers. 24,000 stone, 18,000 andesite. Yeah, it really adds up. And it might actually be better to save it as compressed blocks, at least in terms of the refined storage. But I really like being able to see exactly how much I have and to know whether I'm gonna need to get more sometime soon. So I feel like this works pretty well. In terms of the refined storage, I've had to add another storage block and I put in a 16K block at this one and we're pretty darn full. This 16K is over half full and this 4K is pretty well almost all full. I really don't know how to remove items from this storage block so that I could break it down and maybe upgrade it. But nevertheless, this is working now and I can figure that part out later. As far as out here on the power generation front, yeah, that 16K added even more power demands, and I really didn't feel like it was beneficial to keep going with the solar cells, so I broke down and I got into the thermal generator, which means I've got to feed it water on a regular basis, which is why the water bucket and water are here. 
I kind of don't like that, but at the same time, this is just so efficient. I even upgraded this one level, and at 70 FE per tick, it's way more than enough for the current needs in there right now. And it doesn't quit during night. I've just got to keep remembering to fill it up with water. And, well, hopefully I can remember to do that. I was really surprised by just how much loose stuff I had that needed to go into the refined storage, and that 4K just was not nearly big enough. You know, little things like ladders and all of the ores that I've dug up and, and things like broken records and saddles, which really don't stack so well in drawers, work really well in the refined storage, at least in terms of space. But altogether, this is uh, a lot more stuff going in here than I kind of anticipated. And as for this, well, I think a lot of it's just going to sit here and despawn. I don't think I want it, and I don't want it cluttering up my refined storage system. Now it's time to just get started tearing this all down. Much, much time later, I have the storage system all here complete on this far wall. I've got it organized pretty well, and I'm pretty happy with it. I will say that I used a whole lot less of these smaller drawers than I anticipated. I have some left over, and some of these farmables are probably going to get swapped out at some point for larger drawers. I've also completely given up on the solar panels and just gone with the one thermo generator down there. I've got this nice infinite water source so I can feed it water when it needs it. I've also created a dank dock, though I really haven't figured out how to make that work. It's The idea is that I can just pop my danks in there and everything will go into the storage system, but yeah, not there yet. I, I can't figure out how to make that work. And quite honestly, I'm a little tired of messing with all of this stuff. This, this video has been a long time in production, and I think it's getting quite long and boring, quite honestly. Now, I did put my vault stuff in some drawers here. I'm not at all certain that I'm going to keep it here. I really like having all of my vault stuff over here together, but I have gone ahead and put a lot of it into the refined storage system through the grid here. And honestly, that makes this space just way too big anymore. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. And I think in the next episode, we need a major base renovation. <laughs> For right now, though, I really want to try to run another seal. Last time didn't turn out so well, and so I think I want to try it again. Because like I said, I'm a little tired of messing with all the storage stuff and want to get back into running some vaults. As a reminder, this crystal is a raffle vault, and I've got to kill the boss, meaning it's going to be locked. There's no other way out. And if I can do it in under five minutes, then there's a special bonus waiting for me at the end of the week. So, this could be rough. I'm a little rusty running vaults, but I think it's worth a try. And, and in order to be prepared, I've got candy bars, power bars, and hearty apples all at the ready. If I don't get it in five minutes, I'll still do the best that I can to loot. But the goal is to do it as fast as possible. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's hope I get something good here. It would be really nice to be able to do this. Uh, resilient. Okay, not bad. I'm still going to mark the center room here because it helps me to navigate. Three obelisks? Okay, good. And so the race was off. I ran like the wind and looted nothing. I did mark a few spots just in case I wanted to come back, but in the end, we didn't make it, sadly. Okay, we got one obelisk here. Oh, maybe, maybe. Nope. Nope, it's over with. Dang it. So with nothing else left to do, I looted the best I could, tracked down the last obelisk, and killed the boss. Okay. Not such a good run, but more disappointing, did not get the seal. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, you can't win them all. That, it's tough. Even doing everything I could think of to make me go faster, I still, <laughs> still did not get it in time. So, oh, well, one of these days, I guess I'll get lucky. But for now, I think that's the end. Remember, be excellent to each other, and I'm out.